Greetings everyone. In this video, I will demonstrate how to generate your own Lensa app like Magic Avatars without using any third party apps. Our method ensures 100 privacy unlike uploading your personal photos to external apps and platforms. I am confident you have seen many individuals sharing their Magic Avatars on social media. Although these paid apps utilize free open source AI models, they still require payment. Furthermore, the AI image generation apps could keep your private photos and use them as they please. Instead of paying and trusting the goodwill of these paid apps, we will use these open source public AI models ourselves. I will provide step-by-step -step instructions so even those with no technical expertise can follow along. We will be using Google's Colab, a free AI platform that offers access to a powerful GPU at no cost. Therefore, this tutorial can even be completed on a mobile phone without a PC. All you need is a Gmail account. Once we train the open source image generation model, stable diffusion with Dreamboot by using our own portrait images, the possibilities are endless. Unlike other applications, the method I will demonstrate does not impose any limitations on image generation. You will be able to freely compose any kind of image as many as times you desire. You can not only generate your own avatars, but also any other images you want such as highly detailed car images or landscapes. Let's begin by logging into a fresh dummy email I have set up for this tutorial. For this tutorial, all we need is a Gmail account, a free Gmail account. And if you don't have a free Gmail account, you can just create your account. Uh, just go type Google Gmail and you will get to into this page. So I'm going to click sign in. Okay, I have logged in my Gmail account. Now we are ready to go. Uh, make sure that your drive folder has enough space for this tutorial. By typing drive dot google.com into your browser you can log in into your drive you see currently my drive is empty and i have 15 gigabytes of empty space for this tutorial we are going to use this google collab image don't worry i will copy and paste this link into the description of the uh, video so you won't be have to type it first let's uh, first let's check out that we are logged in into our gmail account as you can see i am logged in and let's start with copying this uh, file into our Google Drive so we can use it later with the changes we have made. Okay, it is generating a copy. All right, now we are ready to start. First, we are going to click connect to start our virtual machine. Okay, it is asking us that whether we are a robot or not. Okay, I have verified that I am not a robot. Now it is connecting. Uh, we are going to wait until we are connected. It is initializing and uh, okay, we are connected. You see, it shows us what kind of resources we are available. First, we are going to check the GPU and VRAM available because this uh, image generation requires a lot of power. And you see Google is providing us uh, a, a very strong GPU for free. Tesla T4 GPU. Okay. As a next step, you are going to click uh, these install requirements. So you see, when I hover my mouse, there are play buttons like here, and we are going to click them by one one. First, we click it this, and we check it that we have a GPU ready. Next, we are going to click install requirements. You don't need to change anything in this part of the code. Uh, you just need to wait. This is until completed. Okay, the installation has been completed. So what did we install? We have installed the necessary scripts into our virtual machine. Currently, we are using from the Google Colab. Okay, uh, it shouldn't take more than a few minutes and they are done. So you see that there, there isn't any more uh, loading icon here. As the next, we need to log in Hugging Face. Hugging Face is a platform where uh, people share their models. Uh, the AI models and the AI model that we are going to use the stable diffusion model uh, is hosted on hugging face uh, this is a complex thing and I am not going to explain what are diffusion uh, stable diffusion weights or model card or other things we are just going to register a free account on hugging face so just open Google and type hugging face okay 
and the URL of Hugging Face is like this. I will also put this into the description so you can click from there. We are going to click sign up and in here we are going to type our email and a password. Okay, I have typed my email and a password that I have generated. Next click and in here you can uh, set the things you want as you wish. Okay, I have filled the information uh, and let's click create account. Okay, it is asking us a question to verify that we are not a bot or something. Okay. Okay, and yes. Okay, now we are logged in. Now let's move back to our Gmail and let's click to verify it. Okay, it's verified. Okay, now we are back to our Google Colab. So, it is requiring us to generate a token. Tokens are used to uh, do things and verify that you are an authorized user. So, we go back to our Hugging Face account. We click the uh, icon here. It opens our profile and other settings. In here, we click settings. And in here, we are going to get access tokens. We are going to click Neve token. Let's say uh, for AI image generation. This is not really important. You can just type it, type anything here. We are selecting role as right. And it has generated a token for us. Okay, I click show and I am copying this and pasting this into my by the way, it has asked me to ver whether I am not a bot or not. Okay, let me quickly do this. Okay, and we are pasting the text in here. Then we click the uh, play button so it will verify. Yes, we are verified. Okay, now we can move to next stage. Now we are going to install another necessary script. So I am going to click play. It starts downloading and installing. All of these things are being installed in the virtual machine that Google Colab is providing us. Don't worry, it, they are not getting installed on your computer or on your browser. This is all happening in a remote server. Uh, it is 100% safe and private. Okay. Okay, the installation has been completed and now we are going to set our settings. So I will save the model that I am going to train into my Google Drive. Uh, with this approach, I won't be need to train the AI model again and again. So one time after you train it, you will be able to use it to generate new images as many as times you want in future. I will show all of them. Don't worry about that. So I click save to G, to G drive. Uh, we can give an, uh, you don't change this name and the outputter. So this outputter uh, directory, the output directory will be generated in here as you can see. Uh, so I am going to name it as SE courses. Okay. And let's click play. So it will be save it. Okay, it says that it is asking us to access our Google Drive files and we say yes. This is a necessary part to save it. Don't worry, this is 100% safe because Google Colab is uh, an organization of Google, as I said. Okay, it has been set. Uh, it's, you see, it says mounted at the content drive. Weights will be saved. So weights are the weights of the model that we have trained. This is a complex subject. As I said, you don't need to know that. Okay, now we come to the tricky part. We are going to train our own image so that the AI can generate avatars of our own image. Okay, so there are some settings that we need to use. This model learns our uh, portrait or whatever we want to teach with keywords. Okay, you can think this as a keyword. So I am going to enter here a unique keyword for the sake of this uh, tutorial I am going to set as a SE courses. I am pretty sure that this keyword is not exist in the database and there is a class prompt. So the class prompt is used to uh, to provide generic images related to the task that you want to do 
for improving its quality okay uh, so let's uh, set uh, the class prompt as portrait photo of a man okay so since i'm going to provide portrait photo of me i am typing like this and if you are providing full body images or another thing that you want to train you can type this so the algorithm will uh, try to improve your model based on that so these are the uh, folders that will be generated in our google drive so i am setting this as the instance as uh, my uh, images and the class data there. so this class data directory uh, will be generated for as i said uh, for these images i think so let's say photos of man okay so let's click run and save it okay it is done okay now we need to upload our images however our images has to be in a certain format uh, they have to be exactly as 500 uh, 12 by 512 pixels so what is pixel if you wonder you know when you purchase a mobile phone uh, it uh, on the camera it says 5 megapixel 10 megapixel 12 megapixel so 512 by 512 means it is 2.5 megapixels now i will show you the folder that i have prepared these are images of me and they are currently uh, cropped by 512 and 512 uh, so for cropping these images what did i use i have used paint net which is an open source source image editing software it is like paint you can just go to their uh, website click download from here and install it after installation once you open it it has this kind of interface and you can just drag and drop your image uh, into that application and it will get opened like this and from here we are going to select this rectangle select thing and from here we are going to click normal and change it to fix it ratio so that we can crop our image as square like this and i am going to select the part that i want to use like this okay then from uh, edit we click copy okay then from here uh, edit or um, from image we click resize okay i am going to set is like this you see it is now uh, very small then from edit i am going to click paste okay now you see my image like this then from edit or image from i am going to click resize and i am going to enter as 512 like this and i click okay and now it is ready i just need to save it okay let's save it with 100 percent quality okay and it is done so this image is now also ready there is also one another easier option if you prefer you can just go to this website okay you can just go to this website it is uh, allowing you to manipulate and crop images easily as a book so you click browse from your computer and you can select the image that you want to crop like this okay it allows you to define width and height i'm going to define them as 512 like this and then you can set select the part uh like this you see you are seeing my mouse okay i am setting it like this then you can click resize crop okay at least i think it is already ready then you you click save as zip okay it will if you are uh, up if you have uploaded multiple images then using save as zip better and you see now it is ready when i click open uh it is open it like this so now i will extract it into my folder or you can just select here from here and uh, you can drag and drop it here okay now it is also ready now all of my images are 512 by 512 how can i verify that you can right click an empty area go to view and details 
and in details you can right click and there is sort by and from more you can select width and okay height properties and now it will display width and height of each image as you can see they are 512 pixel and 512 pixel let's return back into medium icons or let's say large icons okay now let's return back to our google collab okay now we are clicking upload your images by the way uh, how many images that i have i have currently 32 images however they say that even 10 or 5 image could be enough it is uh, depending on quality of your images the position as you as you have more variety of images uh, then the model could uh, learn better your profile your uh, portrait okay from here i am clicking this button and now there is upload button as here i'm going to click it and i'm going to select all images with uh, Control a or you can just uh, use your mouse like this I'm not going to select this folder so i click i press hold ctrl and click it so it is deselected and then i'm going to click open so you see now my files are getting uploaded but they are where they are getting uploaded they are getting uploaded into my google drive okay my private folder so they are still 100 percent safe uh, we are not uploading our files into some unknown application repository unknown application storage uh, so later i can delete everything in here and there will be nothing left okay uh, so this is our advantage over using those paid or even worse the free apps uh, that we need to trust them they will delete them later but we can't really trust them actually uh, because usually these paid apps are saving storing our private files and later they are using them so uh, our method is much better okay okay now our files have been saved so it may take a while for them to appear in here okay but it is not important so now next thing now we are ready to start training model with our portrait images there are still some uh, things that we need to do so we did set you see as e courses for our instance prompt and we are going to change save sample prompt the same here and so there are some parameters as you can see uh, after doing some research i have found some optional parameters so number of instances so the number of instances in our case is 32 so number of class images as i said the class images are used uh, to improve the accuracy uh, learning of your model it generates uh, random images based on the class uh, label the input you provided we have provided portrait photo of a man so this is a generic class okay and uh, so this algorithm says that you should have number of instances multiplied by 12 so 32 times 12 which is 384 i am going to enter it in here like this okay the sample batch size is related to training and you shouldn't change it uh, it is an optimal value as selected by the author of this uh, google collab okay so number of steps now the number of steps is telling the um, model that train this many times it is uh, related to ai models so it is number of instances multiplied by 80 in our case it is 2560 like this okay we are not going to change save interval okay there is warm up steps it is also related to model so the warm up steps should be number of max number of steps and it is divided by 10 so uh, also it has to be an integer number so in our case it is 
256. Okay. Now we are completely ready. Uh, we are not going to change resolution. This is the maximum resolution that our model supports. Okay, we are using diffi uh, stable diffusion version 1.5. Uh, as can be seen here and it supports maximum 512 pixel by 512 pixel the trend page size is related to how many number of gpu you have since we are on the free account uh, we have only one gpu but if you get the paid account of if you or if you use another uh, cloud computing service you could increase this uh, I am hoping that uh, we won't get memory error because as you as you increase these numbers uh, it increases the memory usage of the graphic card and okay now we did set everything and I am going to click uh, this button and the training will start so it will um, save our uh, model also into our folder that we have defined uh, in let me see okay define it in here it will be in our google drive folder stable diffusion weights okay okay in here once it is done so i won't be in need to retrain because training takes time currently it is loading the necessary files and then it will start training uh, okay this may take a while uh, depending up depending on how many images you have how many max train steps you have uh, and all other parameters okay okay the training has been going on over one hour and two minutes as you can see in the bottom here executing cell duration First, it has generated uh, the class images, as you can see, 100%, uh, 384, 384. So after that, it starts learning our portrait images. Okay, uh, learning our model. Uh, you see, we have defined it, uh, 2560 steps to 1560. And uh, so, in each step it is uh, modifying the weights the values to learn our model you don't need to really understand this but once this is completed we will have our model uh, ready okay so the training has been completed as you can see steps 100 percent now there are a few other things that we need to do first let's give our uh, training a new name okay let's say se courses okay and then uh, we need to save our training data into our gmail uh, folder uh, google google drive so that we can use it again without doing any uh, any other training uh, so the total time of training took i think uh, yeah one hour and 38 minutes okay um so i'm going to give uh, the folder name i am copying from here right click and copy after selecting it and you see i am pasting it here and then i am going to click to save so it is saved okay and it should appear in my drive in any moment okay uh in here yeah uh, this is our okay um, training data okay let's continue so there is also uh, this button it will generate a grid of preview images from last saved weights okay uh, these images will be generated by the model and okay this is not very related but yeah it is somewhat okay you see it is not very good but with the prompts that we provide i think it will be better this totally depends on your data set uh, the input images that you provide okay then we are going to click convert weights uh, to use in web uis ah this is not necessary we don't need this actually you can just skip this part okay now we are ready we have trained our model and we are ready to use it again 
later without training again so uh, now i will exit application and i will open it again so that you will know how to open it again and just use it without retraining it unless you want to retrain if you can't obtain good results then you can modify your uh, input data set uh, and then uh, you can uh, this is the data set that i have used you can retrain re your data set and try to obtain better results okay now i'm going to exit and i will reopen application and we will start generating our uh, amazing avatars okay for exiting the application i am going to click here and it will shut down it will restart actually okay so we are back to zero uh, i will close this top okay you see that i have closed all of the tops now uh, we are going to start our fun time so uh, you see i have moved to my google drive which is where my where our file is saved uh, so i have double clicked it the name that i have given okay first i need to connect uh, the virtual machine okay we are connecting okay we have connected we have started from uh, zero but we st we have our trained model so we need to uh, install some of the scripts and other things again so let's first check whether we have a gpu yes we have let's install requirements okay requirements have been installed in only 55 seconds as you can see here let's log into hugging face with our token we don't need to generate it again let's install xformers it takes like 10 seconds to install so after we do the initial training it is just so quick okay and i think it's almost done okay it took only 10 seconds now let's settings and run so it will ask us to get permission for google drive okay uh, so that uh, our model can be read from our google drive because we have saved our model there uh, we can actually see it in here you see there are files uh, that are saved okay it is done we don't do training again because we have done it already we can click this to set our parameters but this is probably not necessary because it is for training okay i'm just skipping the parts where we do training okay we need to specify the weights directory okay let's click to regenerate grid of preview images from the last saved weight so we can ensure that uh, our model is working properly yes it is generated okay now we are going to generate our new images this part is very important and you need to pay uh, really pay attention okay let's click start so it is going to load our model uh, with the parameters that are set you don't need to change any of these parameters and uh, they are pretty much optimal okay we have an error somewhere let me check it okay uh, we need to give full path of directory so i am going to copy this you see it is in the settings and run folder copy selection and um let's paste it into our here weights directory maybe if i delete this it should work first let's try that way okay yes so it took that from the last saved one but you can also specify different directories if you save them like this okay you see okay i won't do it so let's run inference again okay it is starting right now okay executing okay it is it has asked me to verify i'm not robot yes i did that okay it took total two minutes uh, to load our model so we have spent only three minutes to load our model after the initial training now you see there is a random seed this is for reprodu reproducibility if you want to generate same or similar similar images uh, every time you use you can save this seed or you can change it okay now here the tricky part this system works with uh, text inputs so it is really crucial 
to give proper text inputs to generate images because the system learned based on the inputs okay so now i will show you what kind of inputs do you need and as a result of them what kind of outputs you are going to get okay i will explain in details and please pay attention to this part this part is the where we generate our images as we want okay okay so our first result is ready uh, this is uh, a portrait of mine in a different style now i will explain my input uh, so that you will understand what kind of input I have provided. Guess that uh, this is in which style? This is in Rockstar Games style. It is similar to that, uh, but of course not same, exactly same. But what kind of input I have given? I have generated 10 images and this is the best one, best looking one. Not always you are getting the very good ones. So these are the some other ones, as you can see. I can't say they are best. They are this is also a good one if you ask me and yeah these are the other ones okay as you can see not all of them are good so what kind of input i have provided i have provided keywords face portrait of and this is my keyword that i uh, set in the beginning if you remember in here let me show se courses and we also provided it in here save sample prompt okay and then um, so I am asking AI to uh, provide me face portrait then I am adding the other keywords that I want um, the AI to use okay the the order of keywords are really important uh, so it will first look for this then it will look for this keyword symmetric uh, symmetrical then detailed face then insanely detailed this is all up to you how you give your input will affect your results significantly then concept art trending or art station daily deviations highly realistic sharp elegant then i am adding by rockstar games to generate a similar style to rockstar games then digital digital painting and then looking into camera you can of course add more keywords here and make the ai try to generate uh, such images then we have negative prompt so we are telling the uh, ai model to avoid these kind of images bad anatomy bv okay bw so this is black and white black and white but still uh, it is generating black and white images ugly tiling poorly drawn hands poorly drawn feet poorly drawn face out of frame extra limbs disfigured deformed body out of frame blur bad anatomy and uh, it goes on so in here you are writing your uh, keywords that the uh, that you want ai to avoid of okay, of course uh, okay so this is also important part you need to provide negative prompt to avoid such images okay so number of samples tells ai to how many time how many images it generate in one run so by the way the run took about one minute and 33 seconds also if you see some message like this automatic saving failed just click show diff and save your changes and okay we see all say all changes are saved so guidance scale what is this this means that how much ai should um, depend on our input and how much it should use its uh, itself inner mechanism so 7.5 is a sweet spot that it will use your input and it will use its own uh, heuristics okay um, it is a highly complex uh, thing so if you want ai to use your input more and you are giving it a more detailed keywords then you can increase this okay so if you increase this to for example 12 it will generate a different image more likely to your uh, more depending on your input uh, but the 7.5 is a sweet spot found by the uh, testers 
a number of inference steps this tells ai to how many steps uh, it should use to generate your image this is also a sweet number 50 found by the uh, testers and developers you can play with these numbers okay i have double click it and it opened the source code when i double click here it will return there back so you can uh, reduce this to or you can increase this and see the results it's all about experimentation and height and width this defines the dimensions of each image it will generate this is the maximum supported uh, dimension natively by our model which is uh, stable diffusion 1.5 there is also stable diffusion 2.1 which supports uh, 768 pixels but it requires more uh, hard drive more uh, gpu ram uh, therefore it is not possible to run it on our google collab for free you see we are already currently using maximum available gpu ram so if you want to uh, use the next level uh, model the nevis model then you need to upgrade your service uh, with subscribing from here it is paid of course or using another uh, stronger service if you can find or if you have a stronger gpu you can also run all of this in your computer uh, so we are using the maximum possible height and white uh, width so when i click open image in nevtop it will open the image in native resolution in nevtop i can just right click and save image as and save it on my computer okay okay here now i have done another generation with guidance scale 10 so now it is depending on my input more as you can see uh, this is how the new images looks like okay uh, in rockstar rockstar style all right but it is still generating black and white so we probably need to modify our input in a way that it won't generate um black and okay uh, now we have another result i have made few changes let me show them to you first if you want to see uh, the bigger output just click here to close resources and then uh, let's just move to the prompts so what did i change first of all i have added colored keyword here since portraits are tending to be black and white we are telling ai model to generate colored uh, images for us then i have changed our um let's say influenced model influenced style with a quantic dream this is another uh, i think a studio or something so uh, and also uh, i have added some other keywords such as masterpiece ultra detailed ultra realistic so this is totally up to you and you can search for keywords for uh, stable diffusion on the internet there are a lot of resources websites and other things that you can get ideas okay let's check uh, let's see the uh, generated outputs i think this is a really cool one this is another one but the eyes are not perfect this is not related to me actually this is also looking cool uh, this is not this is i think related to their style uh, this is also not, uh, something cool oh this is also cool one i think we can also set the eye color if you want and also this is a cool one as well uh, now i will show you different styles from now on uh, with not much changing the input and let's see what kind of outputs we are going to get okay now i have here another good one uh, for this one uh, i have added by production ig and digital 2d character design okay uh, so with adding and removing keywords you can get uh, different outputs and you can pick the ones that are best to you uh, as we add digital 3 2d and character design it becomes more like a cgi product so uh, whatever the output you want you need to add those keywords or uh, remove those keywords 
Okay, here several other ones. This time I have changed style to another one. By the way, uh, this style um, influencing is a debated topic in the community right now. Some say that you shouldn't uh, influence model with the certain uh, styles and some say you can do because it is like teaching a human a style because styles can't be copyrighted. So this is a controversial and debated topic just letting you know so here there are several good ones that i i have generated for example this one and this one okay this is uh, also a different style okay this is also looking cool if you ask me and yeah some other ones still black and white okay okay here several other ones like this or this or this okay or this one okay this looks also cool so uh, for this what uh, prompt i did use i have used it again the first prompt is our uh, training then color it symmetrical uh, detailed face and by uh, another artist style masterpiece ultra detailed this time i have removed digital 3d because it was making uh, more like digital 3d output and the rest is like this okay okay here we have now another output like this let me show you each one of them okay this is a weird one okay so this time uh, i have given a prompt like first face of portrait of se courses as usual this is the keyword we have trained our model on colored symmetrical detailed face and this time i have influenced the ai model with magali will uve and masterpiece ultra detailed i have removed the digital tree the keyword because it was having a lot of effect on the output and the rest is like this okay some more interesting results now i am more like an asian because i have now provided koyoharu gotouge uh, as a style uh, as an influencing style you see i am like an asian or like here or like here okay now we are seeing dreamworks style similar style as you can see I'm not sure if this is really related to DreamWorks, but here you see some different outputs. This is more like a CGI image that you can see in games or movies. And yes. Okay, here another style by Edwin Catmull, as you can see. Uh, so you see, with trying different styles, you will get different outputs and whichever one is most useful for you you can just use it okay now we are going to see some interesting results this time i have combined three art styles which are great rutkowski blob w lob and art jam these are one of the most popular artists artists they are being uh, used in the uh, stable diffusion community and let's see the results from close lookup okay okay as you can see so with combining different styles you can obtain uh, very different results it's possible okay in this example i have removed the artist influence the style influence now it is totally up to generic keywords that we use okay as you can see like this or like this or like this very vari variety of uh, very different uh, styles as you can see it has generated so you can give 100 uh, output if your vram uh, is enough and you can get 100 output in a single command now uh, we can also uh, change our original output with like with long 
pair okay okay now we have some interesting results um this is not very like me yeah this is very like me actually the my face and it added a blue hair i think we can also define the hair color or the eye color i will do that this is somewhat like me okay this is also an interesting one wow this is really really different one this is also kind of similar and yes this one so let's also provide hair color and uh black long hair um and brown eyes okay so it will be more like myself okay okay now we have black uh, hair as you can see but the colors are not very good okay this is more like black hair and brown eyes correct this is also like that uh, the eye color is still wrong yeah here as well oh this also looks cool if you ask me yeah pretty good one i think i will save this one uh, into downloads folder yes okay yes so let's also add some other things for example okay i'm going to um add in an armor okay let's see what kind of output we are going to get okay with armor addition in our keywords now this is not very like me this is kind of okay uh okay and in here you see this is also not like me this is kind of like me yeah my face is not anymore very like okay so perhaps we can reduce number of keywords such as i'm going to just delete all of this and let's add with wearing an armor okay okay the only the first image generated is similar to me okay i have heavily modified the prompt image of se courses wearing a full body armor so let's see the results it's like this or like this this is maybe the most closest one but the eyes are still not very good this is like this oh this is also cool one actually only the eyes are not matching the eye color i will save this as well okay this is not related uh, the eye is also a problem here otherwise it is overall good this is also decent okay and this is also a decent one okay let's modify it as a wearing a
Okay, now I will do some cherry picking. So the cherry picking means that you are picking only the best outputs. And so I will only show the best ones that I have obtained. Uh, with AI generation, it is all about how many times you try because each time you will get different results and some of them will be much better than the, some of others. So with sufficient amount of trying, you can obtain the best uh, magic avatar that you are looking for to put up your profile, to put up, put up your in your social media or whatever you want to use for. All right, let's start. Wow, this looks very cool. And this looks cool too. Okay, this is kind of different than others. Uh, so you see, uh, I have removed many of the keywords and added Unreal Engine, highly detailed ArtJam Digital Illustration, uh, Bluetooth Studio Ghibli, Deviant Art, uh, Sharp Focus Art Station by Alexi Minogrado, Bakery Sweets, and Emerald Eyes, and such things. So the results are like this, as you can see. It is totally up to you how, what kind of prompt that you are going to provide and based on that you will uh, get the output. Okay, this time I have provided uh, anime painting and this is what I got. Okay, it is pretty cool actually. Okay, another cool one. It is only one out of 10 generation. One of them is uh, decent. So you need to generate a lot of images uh, to get good ones. Okay. Um, I will show you now another cool thing that you can do. You can generate hundreds or thousands of images with just one click and then pick the best ones you like among them. Okay. So as you can see, I have generated hundreds of images. I have picked uh, about 200 of them to show you. How did I do this? For doing this, I have modified the code a little bit. I have defined prompts list like this. By the way, I will upload this code into our uh, patreon page uh, and i hope that you will uh, subscribe there uh, and support us so i have modified the page a little bit to iterate over and over uh, to generate uh, hundreds of images then i have saved them in my uh, google drive in a folder in a called as anime um, i have downloaded them as usual uh, also in this page you can delete these outputs uh, by clicking the X button uh, so they won't um, take your space uh, the output messages that's another thing that you can do and since I have used the Google Colab a lot now uh, Google is not allowing me anymore to do until for a certain time to use its uh, GPU service but it is not uh, important I have turned those images into a clip. Now I will show you those uh, images as a clip. These images by original uh, 512 to 512. Uh, therefore, uh, when we make them as a full screen, uh, their quality a little bit decreases. But uh, when you use them in your profile page 
on your social media uh, they would still look very good uh, in those dimensions uh, there are also upscaling techniques uh, of stable diffusion which could help you to upscale your images but it is another topic i won't cover it uh, today uh, some of the images are not very much resembling me and some of them are very like me so the key point as you see is generating more and more images and picking the ones that you like uh, and also using different number of different uh, keywords to uh, influence the ai model uh, the influence the style of the ai model uh, with this iteration batch technique that i will uh, i have shown you can type as many as different um, inputs and you can train as many as times you want you can generate as many as times images you want however uh, google may block you after a while so uh, you can let's say generate 1000 images each day maybe more uh, it needs testing okay so this is all about it uh, it is clear that advancements in image generation and manipulation technology are coming at a rapid pace in recent months we have seen a flurry of new models released and it is likely that even better ones will be introduced in the coming months and it will be very fast it is up to us to use these technologies responsibly and for good this is really important however it is important for everyone to be aware that AI can be used to manipulate images and videos to a realistic level. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please like and share it with others to raise awareness about this technology. So that more people know that the images and the videos can be manipulated very easily, uh, the more people will become immune to the damages that bad actors, bad uh, people can cause. Additionally, please consider sub subscribing and supporting us on Patreon for the production of future high quality content. You can access our Patreon page in our page from just clicking the right top support Patreon button. It will open our page. I am hoping that you will support us there. Uh, thank you very much. Hopefully see you in an, another in the next video.